prayers. We give thanks to God that we are worshiping together today. Today in our liturgy, we celebrate the most holy trinity. Our presider for this mass is Father Francis. Please stand.
Let us pray. God our Father, who by sending into the world the word of truth and the spirit of sanctification, made known to the human race your wondrous mystery, grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the Trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Knowing that affliction 
produces endurance. And endurance, proving character. And proving character, hope. And hope does not disappoint. Because the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit that has been given to us. The word of the Lord. At the very beginning, when God was creating man, 
He did not create him alone as God the Father. No. They created us together as the three of them. Let us make man in our own image. Not in my own image, but in our own image. This shows you the unity, the equality that exists in the Trinity. And this is the same unity God wants us to share in as his disciples, as his followers, as his children. We should have this unity that is portrayed in the Trinity. They are one. They are always one. There is nothing that the Father does that the Son and the Holy Spirit doesn't know. Everything that happens, they do it together. It might be done by the Son or the Holy Spirit, but the other two are in it. They know. It's just representing them. They are one. They are united. We two as Christians, we as followers of God, as followers of Christ, as children of God, we are called to be united. We are called to be one like the Trinity. We shouldn't create divisions among us, but we should come together. And when we come together, we will achieve more goals. We will deepen our faith together. We will have one another. Another aspect we find in the Trinity is love. And in the process of trying to make us understand what the Trinity is, theologians, ecumenical councils had to sit to define what the Trinity is. And this led me to go back in my notes in the seminary. And I went back to St. Augustine, who defined the Trinity as a community of love. God so loved the world that he created us. God so loved the world that he sent us his only begotten son to redeem us from our sins. And God so loved the world that he sent us the Holy Spirit, the Paraclete, the Advocate, the Comforter, the Counselor that we received the last week. This is the community of love, the Trinity is love. When we speak of God being love, we mean it. God is love himself. is love. And the Trinity is a community of love. How is it a community of love? Where there is love, there, but there is someone who is loved. And who is that one? There is a love, someone who is loved, there is a lover and a love that they share. And God is the one who is loving. Christ the Son is the one who is loved. And the Holy Spirit is the love that is shared between the Son and the Father. We do accord to share into this love of the Trinity. We are called to live in love, to be people who express love like it is expressed in the Trinity. Therefore, as we come here today to celebrate this solemnity, to praise God and to thank Him for the continuing work of the Trinity amongst us in our lives, let us pray for unity in our church today. Let us pray for unity in our families where there are divisions. Let us pray for unity in our country and in the world. There is so much division in the world, but we have a perfect example of living in unity, of living in love, and this is the Trinity. Let us God ask today, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, to make us one as his believers, as the followers of God, but also to make us people of love, people of peace. There are no quarrels in the Trinity. There is always peace, love, and unity. And we, as followers, we should emulate this good example. Let us pray for one another, 
and let us pray for the entire world to live in peace, to live in love and unity. The Lord be with you. Let us stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only God and Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and not made, and substantial of God. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the voice of his spirit was he cut forth the major in every way, and became man. For our sin was crucified and was crucified. He suffered death and was buried. And was at the end of his life day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead. And his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who in the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who sets forth the Lord of prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and Apostolic Church. I confess my baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In the name of the Holy Trinity, let us offer our petitions to God the Father through the Son and with the power of the Holy Spirit. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the Church as the body of Christ in the world, and for all who have been called to serve as shepherds, especially Pope Francis, that the unity of the Godhead will be a continued source of inspiration and wisdom. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of all nations, that they may labor to foster the dignity of the human person who is created, redeemed, and made holy by the gracious action of the Trinity. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For those preparing for marriage and for all married couples, that their love for each other may reflect the divine love of the Father, Son, and Spirit. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. For all who serve in the military, that they may perform their duties with moral integrity and dedication to protecting our nation and for their safe return home, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor, the sick, and all who suffer, that they may be filled with the life of the Trinity and experience the loving presence of God's people, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, that they may share the life of the Trinity forever, especially Evelyn Fitzpatrick, and William Peroso, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions being offered at this Mass, for Peter Everly, Robert Payne Jr., Stan Panzior, William Billy Pinar, and a special intention for Margaret, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those who, are, who ask for our prayers and those, those we promise to pray for, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Triune God, hear our prayers and welcome us ever more fully into relationship with you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. There is a second collection today for the priest's health and retirement fund. Thank you for your generosity.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be accepted with God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our hope and follow the Holy Church. Sanctified by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make of us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord God, Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord. Not in the unity of a single person, but in the trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confessing of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubim too and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day, as with one voice they are praying. Victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, 
grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph as spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with Saint Zachary, our patron saint, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation with our Lord advance the peace and the salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm it with faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis Sarko, and please our bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our devoted brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you, and they are passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. They are hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
Since you are children of God, God has sent into your hearts the Spirit of His Son, the Spirit who cries out, Abba, Father. Let us pray. May receiving this sacrament, O Lord our God, bring us health of mind and body as we confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The announcements for today are as follows. We need your help in our upcoming St. Zachary Fest. A planning meeting will take place on Tuesday, June 21st at 6.30 in the Ministry Center. 
The Garden Club is asking for monetary donations to update the flower beds on the church grounds. Please see the drawings and further explanation located on the table in the gathering area. Please keep over 50 campers and volunteers in your prayers as Vacation Bible Camp starts this week. Thank you to all those who have made generous contributions to the camp. Next weekend, there will be a photo opportunity for fathers and their families in honor of Father's Day, similar to the Mother's Day event. Everyone is invited to take a picture with Dad. In-person religious education registration will take place tomorrow and uh, Sunday from 8 to 12.30 in the school corridor. Online registration is ongoing and can be found on our parish website under the Religious Education tab. Registration for our parish school is also ongoing. Please contact our principal, Mrs. Potenza, for a private tour of our school. Next Sunday is the Feast of Corpus Christi. After the 1 p.m. Polish Mass, there will be a Eucharistic procession around our campus. All are invited to come and endure the Blessed Sacrament. Please grab a bulletin on your way out of church for more information. And one more thing, next weekend we'll be having Bishop Grom at the 5 p.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 and 11 a.m. next Sunday on Father's Day. He will be coming to talk about Renew My Church. So come on, come on. And uh, thank you so much for coming to Mass this evening. I'm Father Francis Matopo, a born of Uganda, and I've uh, been going to school at Mandalay Seminary. So I'm blessed to be here at St. Zachary as I transition back home to Uganda on July 1st. Where I come, there is you know, a lot of Run, like political rounds going on, uh, kidnapping people, killings. So I ask for your prayers as we celebrate the unity of the Trinity today. Let us pray for Uganda. Let us pray for the U.S. and for the entire world that there might be an end to wars and there might be peace and unity for all. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our closing song is number 562. Sing of the Lord's goodness.